Then we got Oscar versus Charlotte with Rhea at ringside. And <laughs> they botched several spots. They tried some neck breaker on the apron. They both fell down. None of the announcers knew who got the worst of it. They go to commercial, they come back, and they're just not selling it at all, so I don't know what the point was. They botch a code breaker. They both fall down. Uh, finally, Charlotte puts her in the figure four. She goes for the bridge. Rhea Ripley breaks it up. Charlotte and Ripley, right in front of the referee, are pulling each other's hair. This is not a disqualification. And then Oscar rolls up Charlotte and pins her. So Charlotte is furious. She snaps. She starts beating the hell out of the referee. Two other full-grown human referees hit the ring. They cannot pull Charlotte Fleur off this guy. They don't even try. And they just stand there and yell at her. She keeps beating this dude up. And then later they announce that she has been fined $100,000 and suspended indefinitely from WWE. I wonder what that's all about. Well, I presume she's back in like a week. Well, either that or she's hurt. She didn't seem hurt in the match. No, but usually when they suspend someone, it's it's to cover an injury. So, we'll see. Well, there you go. That man, that Raw was not very good, Dave. And I go back to my prediction from last week that I would be surprised if this hit 1.8 million viewers. Oh, I would be too. All right. I don't think that it'll hit it. I mean, we'll see, but I don't, I don't expect it to hit 1.8 million. There was nothing... Um, I mean, there was no... Nothing. There was, there was nothing. Yeah, there was nothing. There was no great match. There was no great thing. There was no great momentum. Um, if it does, if it does, one point eight million viewers, they should be very happy. I think that it's probably, you know, could be whatever. I mean, they got a baseline, so I mean, I don't, I don't see it going. They haven't, they haven't been under one point seven million for a long time, so probably won't go under there. But that's kind of where I would think that they would be is is right around that that. 1.7 million dude i don't know if we had another outbreak or what but i mean the same matches and then well, we, we the, did the, the long I mean, matches and the I mean, one match was, leading to was. another match i mean there, there was so that's part of it i don't know who it is because they don't tell you but yeah there was well, they don't tell you but there's very obvious people missing and we're we're yeah. also very obviously like repeating the exact same matches with the same small group of people yeah it's like incredible because like you look at you look at the the AEW show and people are counting like oh there's 78 people on the show and then there's a happy me there's a happy medium well my between. point is this like you got 78 people on one show you got 16 matches on dark you got 16 matches on an e e elevation but I watch Raw and it's like I, there's the same nine people on every show doing the same two matches like happy, what's going on there's a happy medium. <laughs> this, that's all I'll say. It's, it's like you don't want 14 guys around the ring for every single match at the same time. Um, I mean, WWE's got all of these guys, and they don't seem to have enough people to do a three-hour show. Yeah, that's like the thing. It's like AEW, when you look, when you watch AEW and you watch Raw, like you would think that AEW has like 300 people under contract, and Raw has like 40. That's yep. what you think watching the shows. Yeah. And I know that's not true. Yeah. But they can't get anyone over, and so well, we got to see. It's not. It's, it's not. It's not that they. I mean, they can't, that's a different issue. Yes, they. Well, that's they don't. part of the issue. I mean, look at all the well, people no, no, that you no, have no, wrestling no, 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 on no. main event and on. You've got all these people in developmental, and you're Alberto Carrillo's and Angel Garza's. These people have vanished off the face of the earth, so we could see Braun Strowman wrestle two matches, or, or Elias and Riker wrestle two matches, or whatever. Actually, that didn't happen tonight, but. Um, 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 T Bar and Mace did. T Bar and Mace, two matches. T Bar and Mace did wrestle two matches. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what can I say? It was just, it was just a night of filling content. I didn't think, I didn't think it was atrocious or nothing. But um, you know, by compared to like last week, I thought last week was terrible. This week, I just thought was kind of, kind of sameish. Nothing, you know. I mean. Not the greatest of finishes, but you know, you did get that surprise with the riddle match, and that that was, I guess, of everything, that was probably the most newsworthy thing. Other than that, the was fact by that, far the most newsworthy thing on the show, like yeah, by that, far. That and the fact that they're actually going to try to do something with Mason T Bar, you know, and because they're they're putting they put them in there with McIntyre and Strowman, and they got DQ'd. They didn't, or actually, with the McIntyre got DQ'd, but but they had a DQ finish rather than a pin, so that tells you that they're going to keep that thing going. And they're positioning him that, you know, with, you know, the, I mean, I guess, 
I guess McIntyre and Strowman are the two top baby faces in the brand, so they're they're positioning positioning them high. I mean, when I was watching that and and watching um, Brennan Williams or or Mace um, or Deal Madden, whatever you want to call him, when I was watching it, it really it's it's it it did remind me of when, and it was funny because again, Vince Vince ripped everything up today, blah 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 blah. So, but it did remind me of like Vince. You know, from years ago when, you know, they'd be building something and he would just think that, you know, our business isn't good enough. We need more big guys. That's why the business isn't good enough. You know, you blame the small guys. And it's what it felt like watching. It's like they got some bunch, they got a bunch of six, six guys. And, um, because the business isn't good enough for him right now, but nobody gives a shit about six, six guys unless they're charismatic or good. You know, it's like nobody cares about height anymore. I mean, it's just, I don't know that they ever did, but I mean, they did more 20 years ago without a doubt. You know, it's just like, but that's that's the direction. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.